Back page of the Daily Star, spend, spend, spend. Uh, this £300 million blitz to solve the crisis. Uh, linked to Anthony uh, is the latest player. Looks like he'd be making that move uh, from Ajax to Manchester United. Uh, won't feature apparently in Ajax's tie tomorrow. OK, let me just ask a stupid question, get out of the way. Mm. If you're Manchester United and you look at what's going on around you, Villa, Spurs, look, it's all about top four, yeah? Villa, Spurs... And uh, Villa, Arsenal, Spurs, and Chelsea are your main opponents around that. Yep. Are you genuinely get a, going to get a team together that's going to be able to compete with them properly for a place in the top four this season? And if the answer to that is no, given that you're already nine points off Arsenal, for example, or well, depending on what happens on Monday, do you really need to be panic buying in this manner? Do you need to be going everywhere all around Europe and just just like a scattergun approach and throwing money at everyone? Or do you just put your foot on the brake, use this as a transition, and actually focus on players that you need and that's going to improve you over the long term? You should send that couple of minutes that you've just spoken about there to, to the Glazers, because they might employ you. Because that is the sensible, smart way to go about it. Who, who in their right mind thinks going panic buying is going to turn this thing around. The, right. the, the two... It's not... Manchester United don't need two or three players. Manchester United need seven, maybe eight. So, are they doing this to try and appease the fans? Well, it's got to be, Stevie, because... But then again, they're showing how stupid they are because the, the fans are not complete morons, basically. They've seen what's been going on, and I guess anybody with any sort of knowledge of the game or who can actually see the wood for the trees understands that they're in a position where they have to start again. They have to start getting the building blocks in place and build this team and this club up from the bottom. Most people that I speak to have said that. Right. In fact, I haven't spoken to anybody that I know that has been involved in football that has said what they need to do is go and, is go and sign three players at 100 million each. Right. Because everybody has figured out that's not going to work. Which is... But they continue to do the wrong thing. It is so... St I really don't know what to say, Dan. It, the, the right thing to do is staring them in the face, but yet they can't see it. They can't. But on the flip side of that, isn't it very difficult to go there and put in these horrible performances and not being seen to be doing anything? Well, no, because what you do is you come out and tell everybody what you're doing. Yeah, but you're Manchester United. Can you do that? Have you, have you seen the state of Manchester United? I, I just don't, you, I don't know United how easy a sell is that. What you're saying is sensible, obviously, but if you're saying to fans, as Manchester United finished the season 12th or 13th, and they put Tell in them. these performances every time. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them what you're doing. See, look, we have money. We can go, we can go out now and spend money. But we want, to, we want the future of the club to be in the right place. And we want to go about it the right way. So what we're not going to do now is going to panic by and go and, and go and get a couple of players because we need more than that. This is what the plan is. We are going to take some time and we're going to build this club from the bottom. And any fan with any ounce of sense will go, wow, it's the first time I've heard that. It's the first time we've actually heard some sort of plan and a plan that makes sense. And if you're a fan and you don't want to hear that and you want them to go and, and mm. start throwing money around, then that, you don't know what you're talking about or you haven't been watching what's been going on. Because that's pretty much what they've done. There's been no plan for four or five years. They've gone and signed players thinking that's going to do the trick. And, and Ronaldo's just Ronaldo's the, the cherry on the top. They think that they'll go and sign Ronaldo and it'll change everything. And it's actually made it worse. Frank, what do you think? Well, you know, the board of Manchester United made me think of politics, you know, when they, they, have, they do something wrong, but they don't want to admit it. So they keep on lying and, uh, and, and, and hiding what they did wrong, you know, for us to forget about it. If Manchester United boards decide to say, listen, you know what, we're going to work out what we've done and we've done badly, we recruited, but not the player we should have recruited, 
And uh, so we're going to slowly but surely retransform uh, the team and, uh, and, and use, you know, some years to do so. You are revealing to the world and your fans that you did wrong for years. And as politics, you don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. So they keep on lying and they try to hide it by buying other players, trying to sort out the problem like that by magical uh, signings. It's not going to work like that. Well, we see with Casimiro, if Ca Casimiro is coming for the money. Mm. He's not coming to save Manchester United. He doesn't care. He won everything with, his, with Real Madrid. He's a legend. And clearly, and everybody say that, and it's not offensive, offensive, yeah? It's, it's for the money that it comes. It's not coming to sort any problems out. So that's the, the thing, and I agree with TV, Manchester United should do, taking more, more years and, and thinking maybe twice or thrice what they have to do, instead of buying players like crazy everywhere around the world. But I don't think they're going to do that because it would be admitting that they were wrong for years. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.